now at four. A family's quest to find the person who ran over a young man on a bicycle and just kept going. We first told you about this hit and run last month. 10 on your side's Jason Marks is back now with a follow-up about how video could help crack the case. Matthew Oshlager continues to recover at the hospital. He suffered a severe brain injury after that hit and run last month. We now have new video of the suspect's car, that car that left a 20 year old for dead, Emily Brannon, who's the attorney for the Oshlager family. She got the video from the Virginia Beach Police Department. You can see this white car leaving the oceanfront early in the morning, June 14th. The car appears to leave near 9th Street and head down Pacific Avenue. Just a couple minutes later, Oshlager was riding his bike home from Taco Bell. And you can see he starts crossing the intersection of General Booth and Dan Neck when the suspect's car makes a right-hand turn onto Dan Neck and slams into Oshlager. We have chosen not to show you the moment of impact, but right after that, you can see the suspect hits the brakes and decides to drive off. Because the reality is, if he had stopped, he probably wouldn't have been charged with anything all that serious because accidents like this happen all the time. They're, they're simply that, they're an accident. But this, this flagrant disregard for someone's life and to leave them in the street for dead, which is what this person did. And police are still looking for that driver. Emily Brandon is looking for anyone who has information. If you do in this case, you're asked to give her office a call. That number's on wavy.com. In the meantime, hospital bills are mounting up for the Oshlager family, and Matthew's going to require long-term care. That part of the story coming up at 5.30. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.